I, did you see that one dude in the jungle? Yeah. <laughs> well, that scared us for a little bit. Yeah? Maybe. I was watching him, I was like, hmm, okay. Where, where are you, why are you on patrol? <laughs> why are you patrolling this area, bro? And where's your fire team? Because I know you're not alone. Where's your squad at, bruh? My bone texts her. Asa mo padung sira? Nagbilara. Nagadiri mo. Asa mo bay? O bay? Pwede mo tanaw yung mga bansa. Sa license? Wala na ni sira for security purposes na ito mo sa kanang na ito. Kami sa mga balita-balita ron. Oo. Kung ano ni sir, mga kanang istisyon. Alabay mo yung kanang istisyon. We saw militaries up in the mountain too. Mabuan. Yeah. Man, they won't get up there. My license. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, you put it in there? Yes, I put it in there. Oh, it's late. Oh! Oh, it's not going to be late. Oh, it's 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 late. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that's the checkpoint. So that's a checkpoint. That's what I've been talking about. I haven't had one of those for so long. Safety purposes. It's just for safety purposes. Anyway, I'm um, just making sure everyone's okay because actually there's been kidnappers running around Bahal, unfortunately. And then there's some news that was saying that they're gonna bomb. Say, what would you say? They're gonna uh, bomb and stuff. Oh. After that. I uh, there's been threats or something? Mm. Oh crap. Their, their husband is a bomb expert. ISIS, one of the commander of ISIS hiding here. In Bahal? Not in Bahal. Oh thank god. Means. Really? Jesus. Oh uh, there's anyway, it's just a safety check. Making sure everyone's good safe to go. Safe travels everyone um, around the Philippines. Stay safe, stay vigilant. Keep an eye out um, for weird looking people. Someone you think suspicious, just keep an eye out. It's always it's always good to keep that on your mind. Um, even when you're walking into a, a building, uh, you always need to know, you need to have an exit plan. You need to be ready. Um, any kind of crowded area, be vigilant guys. Stay safe. Mabuhay. My Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. See, it's true, like you. What, Duha? Oh, so scary, man. Shit's going down. We just saw, right before this checkpoint, we just saw a, a boatload of guys. It looked like a backup crew heading in a five-ton, one of those big trucks. Heading over to Inabanga. We're headed towards Tubigan right now. We're gonna catch that one hour um, fast craft to Cebu. It's true. What was true? What did he say? He said it's true, and there's already militaries died. There you go. Scary. Maybe an hour ago. It is 12:53. Robbie. It's pretty crazy, man. Agabre! No, it's a little bit of a little Okay, we are here in Tubigan. So, it's like 10 o'clock. Now we gotta drive the tag. Jump in the, the car. 
Put our stuff in there. Nice. Uh, lots of guys out. Sir. They're out. Bahalanos are being vigilant. What's up, y'all? We just kind of broke into our friend's room last night to go to sleep. She's we broke into her place here in Tag Bularen. Shh, shh, there's people outside. And uh, we slept here. We slept here. And now we gotta go pick up the dog. Let's go. They run good day, hun oh. They run honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds like stripping. Bubble <laughs> 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 you, you didn't know we're there? Yes. You didn't know? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We just jumped through the window. <laughs> <laughs> so, last night, we just jumped through here to get in. Oh, grabby. <laughs> they, they thought there was Momo. They thought there was Momo, that meaning like they thought there was ghost because they heard us talking or whatever. <laughs> oh, salam, Bray. Filipinos are awesome as they always ask you if you're hungry. Say, oh, eat, eat. Come on, eat. I'm going to cut on a real fast breakfast. The famous red hot dog. <laughs> So, we were heading to Inabanga to go check out um, the Busi you know, whatever happened over there and talk to some people. But it just started pouring down. Oh. 
like really bad. I got my wipers on full blast. Fast as they'll go. And I can barely see it. And these people are on motorcycles right here. All right, it's calming down. It's raining a little bit. What's up y'all? Um, so we just got done driving through Inabanga. Um, <clears throat> it's Taliban and Ubay. Anyway, we just got done driving through Inabanga and on the way through we saw two five or seven tons, I think it were like five tons, maybe three, uh, um, full army soldiers and then a TV5. News, the newscaster is following them. So. You know, I, I wanted to interview someone, but you know, I don't. I'm not taking my baby and my wife uh, into the jungle to go interview a guy when we can see it on on TV. So I drove through there and saw that. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update um, from what I've heard. <clears throat> my wife's been following the story, and so there was like 20 Abu Sayyaf, and they had made a camp. There in Inambanga somewhere, not far from where I just was, and it looks like they're still clearing it. As they're still clearing the area, making sure there's no freaking hidden, you know, guys still there. They killed the one of the top Abu Sayyaf leaders. Um, I'll show, I'll show you his picture. We got some more police chilling here in Hitafi here. They're still watching the area. Any exits? Um, so the one of the key key uh, leaders in the Abu Sayyaf for from Mindanao is dead, and his crew. Someone gave you the executive order to drop bombs. Bombs were dropped. I was talking about that earlier, but I didn't want to say that while I was in the port. Here's a funeral right now. Um, bombs were dropped on the the cat encampment of the Abu Sayyaf and there's a horse you drive slow every time if there's one of these you just drive slow and um, you know give respect you don't drive fast and be loud and obnoxious <clears throat> anyway so that's the update of the, the Abu Sayyaf here in Bohol um, check out the news story you can see that the, that leader got killed they're still clearing it out um, it's it's been maybe 10 hour or 15 hours since it happened since uh, last night at 2 p.m. so it is 2 p.m. now sorry it's been a whole what was that 12 hours oh my gosh I'm tired anyway Stay safe, everybody. Um, oh, of course, I can't forget. Much love and respect to the military and the police here. They they did a great job. They got them. They did a great job. We lost three of our military and one police officer, unfortunately. God bless them. And... Uh, um, Condolences to the families. I know it's got to be hard, especially for that really young military member. He was a soldier. He was maybe 18. He was just a kid. And uh, God bless um, him and his family. And thank you for your, your sacrifice and protecting us from those bastards. The ISIS Abu Sayyaf. Um, I, I want to I wanna make a video. I want to go to his, the, the funeral for the, the honored the fallen and uh, give my respects to them because uh, this is my family's island this is where I live and they protected everybody here so much love and respect to them thank you so much Mongo Kababayan
Peace.